Hello and welcome to a brand new series. This is Teddy's Survival Let's Play. And with this series, the idea is we're going to be bringing back the Let's in Let's Play. I want you guys to be, I want it to be an interactive series, basically. I want you guys to be heavily involved with this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the first maybe couple of episodes with me kind of just doing the usual setup stuff. We're going to start getting ourselves geared up. And we're going to start off by punching a tree because we always do punch and tree first. And we're going to start by getting ourselves a basic set of tools together. And, you know, hopefully finding a village, which, to be fair, I have had a look at this scene. I know there's a village right nearby. So it's not going to take us very long to find a village, which is awesome. It's also just started raining, which is really cool. Thanks for that game. I'm loving it. So yeah, there's a village just over there. We're not going to quite hit that yet. We are going to get ourselves a couple of bits together first. I could do with finding a little cave. Is there a little cave somewhere over here? There's a little cave here. Ah, perfect. Maybe. Can we safely get into this little cave? Um, with the intention of actually getting out of it again. Not really. Let's go. This oh, the bigger cave over here. Let's go over here. Um, that's definitely a big... Uh, no, we'll pass that one up too. Ah, this one. This will do nicely. Right, let's get ourselves some stone together. Get ourselves one of those. Grab some stone. We can kind of do a little bit of a speed run -ish start in the sense that we're going to get ourselves set up with the stone tools as fast as we can because they're really important. I'll pick a really good spot here because there's no mobs going to spawn in this bit, which is really quite good. Right, let's get this together. Nice, nice. Very good, very nice. Let's get this. Let's get myself a sword. Let's get myself an axe. And we won't bother with a shovel for right now. And then we'll do this. Oh, we got a thunderstorm. Why have we got a thunderstorm this early in the game? Wow, Minecraft. You're being a troll today, what? Um, but actually, I'll get a bed from the village. Just go to the village now. Go do some exploration. Get ourselves a bed. Now, I'm not going to stay here for my base, obviously. I'm not going to do my starter base around this area. Because if I'm not here, the mobs can't spawn into... Well, remove me from living and remove my villagers from living, more importantly. So, we are going to come here. Let's go up to this house here because this one has got two beds. We can purchase of one of those. I'll say purchase. Remove one of those beds. Use it for ourselves. That's the furthest storm. We're also going to sleep the night away. Because that seems like a smart idea. And then we'll grab our bed. Hi, friend. How are you doing? Can I come out? Thanks. And then we could do with some food. Now we've got crops. I don't really want them, but hello. Don't really care too much about crops. There's plenty of hay bales around here, though. So we'll head over here and grab some hay bales, I think. And get ourselves a little bit of food going. So what we want to do, ideally, is get ourselves in position where we can start thinking about... Well, I want to get this. I want to get the end stuff, end game stuff as fast as possible. That's essentially the plan. We want to get end game stuff as fast as we can, which means ideally enchanting and all that good stuff needs to happen relatively quickly. I mean, we've got an armor in here. Obviously, we collect another hay. So we can go trade with our villager friends over there, which is very nice indeed. There's also a library here as well. That's kind of cool. Let's have a little look in there. What's that? Oh, we've got another house over here. What's this? We've got a chest, guys. Oh, we've got some bread. Nice. One piece of bread. Wow. Stingy much? Right, let's go in here. Let's see what we're going to get. And we've got... Whoa! What? What's, what's going on? Ow. Where are we? What's that noise? Uh oh what, 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 what? Who was this guy? Put him in the vault with the others. Oh, what is this place? Wait, where am I? This is not where I... What is going on? Where am I? What is this? What, what? Oh, let me break out of here. 
What's that noise? It sounds like a slime. What is this place? It's like the, the pods. What am I wearing? I think what? This is not what I was wearing. What is this place? I have no idea. There's there's other people in the pods. What's going on in this place? I have no idea where I am. What's going on? Oh, look at me who I am. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's go a bit of exploring in this place, shall we? Oh, we've got a bed. Unless we can sleep the night away. And now let's go hunt ourselves some food. What's up here? Um, that's the, the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And that's also another, um, washroom of some kind. Cool. Where am I? Where, what is this place? There's, wait, a place with food in it? That's quite useful. We got some food. Let's take a little bit of food with us. And let's maybe go and find out what this place is. Because there's, there's loads of pods in here. Um, but there's no real explanation as to where we are, so let's see if we can find some people and uh, find out what's actually going on. Oh wow, this thing's in a massive cave. That's that's interesting to know. So how do we get out of here then? I'm guessing not that way. Let's try the other way. Um there is this door here. Is there a button? There's a button. And then there's this ladder thing. But where does this take me? What does this do? I found the slime. Go away. How does one get out of the vault? I don't honestly know. I can get out into that cave, but I can't get out any further. It also feels like that could be something. This looks like... I don't know what this looks like. Hmm. Maybe we would do a bit of cave exploration so we can find a way up. Because I don't really want to be down in here if I can help it, but I can't see any way to the surface. Unless there's a way up that water stream. Let's go over there and find out. We've got a safe way down. I feel like we have here, yes. We are quite low down. There's redstone out there. Someone has been here. This is not unexplored. I can also hear a skeleton, which is not a good thing. Let's just hop up here as fast as we can. Can we get up here? We can get up here a little bit. Um, looks like we can get actually all the way up to the surface. Maybe we can figure out what's actually going on. We're much at this level. Can we get up to the top? That water ain't gonna see us up there. Aha, this will though. And we have escaped. And there, there, there appears to be stuff. What is this place? What's going on? Have I, have I spawned in someone else's world? This is not where I was. Or is it? This does look kind of... Is there a village here? There is a village here. Is this the same scene I was just in? Have I, have I come forward in time? This is the village. This is the same village. But I was just in. 
in my brand new survival world because I definitely came in here and I stole a bed. I came here and I stole a bed from this house. Literally, there's no beds in here now. There's there's a there's a villager in that pod there. Someone's been here and they've put all the villagers away. Literally, this is the house that this is where I got trapped. How on earth? Someone must have trapped me for me to even be here. That's incredible. That's insane. Let's 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 think about this. Let's think about how we're gonna deal with this situation. We're gonna have to get ourselves some food. Now there are only hay bales knocking around in this village of carrots down there. I mean we've got a little bit of pork on us. We could pick and replant some carrots and eat some carrots. That could be something we do. But how how am I in the same exact seed that I was in earlier? That's that's weird. That's extremely weird. But it looks like someone's been building over here as well, very close by. What is this place? Let's let's go over here and have a look and see what's going on. See so if we can find someone to talk to. Because so, there's obviously there's obviously life here. There's obviously life. There's 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 stuff. What is this stuff? What is this? This is some I don't even know what this is. It looks like I don't know, some kind of elytra thing. Parkour? I don't know, could be. There's also a lot of shulker boxes here. Someone's been here very recently. Very recently indeed. How do we get in this place? There's a wall around it. Aha, we found the entrance. So we've got someone... There's a shops. Are these, are these shops? Potentially these are shops. There's an ender chest here. One diamond for eight arrows? Are you quite sure, sir? One diamond for a broken bow? What? Hmm. Oh, I see. It's a target practice. Well, that makes sense. Eight arrows to shoot the target. Yes. This does make sense. So this is a gaming area. This is not a shopping area. This is games. The burger van, all profits go to Finn the Waffle. Who's Finn the Waffle? I feel like I recognise this name. But I have not met this person. I can hear a zombie as well, which is not necessarily a good thing. Take some free samples. I, I'm not going to say no to free food. I, I'll take some I'll take some steak and I'll trade you a potato. Trade you a, a, a piece of bread. That's a fair trade. There's also this really weird wall thing going on. That's interesting. And then whatever this cage thing over here is. What is this? It seems like the people living here haven't moved very far away from the the, the whatever that thing underground is. This this is a the egg in there. Give me the egg. I want the egg. Oh, I better get out of here. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. Help! How do I get out? Chicken? You lured me into a trap. All your promise of eggs. How do I get out of here? Ah, there's a there's a there's a way out. Hang on. Aha. Blue corner. Red corner. Uh, boxing ring? Wrestling ring? Don't know. Whatever it is, we, we, we really should start thinking about getting ourselves some gear and potentially finding a bed of our own because at the moment it's raining 
and it's very soon going to turn night time and that's not a good thing so maybe we should do a little bit of exploring gather some of the basics and see how we get on and I'm going to start by punching a tree now this feels very familiar in this world this could be even the tree I punched or very close to the tree I punched when I first started the world that's kind of interesting so in theory where's that cave I went into I have been here before this could not this is not the cave we definitely found this cave when we first came here what is this death or glory find out below what is this down here um, no I, I don't like something that threatens death I think we're going to leave that one behind what I do want is I do want to get myself set up with some tools. So I think we're going to try and find ourselves somewhere we can mine ourselves some stone. And at least get a little bit of protection going on. Because we currently don't have anything other than a couple of logs in our hand. So let's do that. without making it too much of a dead in the uh, in the well in the um, landscape there we go we've got a little bit of protection if it does start to to get a little bit mobby we can at least protect ourselves in some manner especially as it's now getting dark I think the safe bet is head back to the village oh, oh. hi friends I'm, I'm running away from you for now I need to find a bed that's not occupied. There's no beds in this village. Maybe down there. <laughs> nope. There must be a bed in this village somewhere. Aha! Success. Right, I'm I'm gonna. Wow, we've got some daylight with out rain now as well. This is kind of nice. I think I'm gonna have a little wander around. I'm gonna see if I can find myself somewhere we can call home, and and just see if I can find anybody, because this is a bit surreal right now. Okay, so what I've been doing, guys, I've been hauled up in this little villager hut behind me, and I've been doing a little bit of surface mining in the hope that someone turns up. But so far, we've not had anybody come onto the server. Um, so I don't know anyone. I don't know what's going on still. So I don't know what to do with myself. But what I have done in the process of caving and stuff like that, I have found myself a little bit of iron. As you can tell, I've got some iron gear on me. I also found a spawner. So I got myself some bones, some string, and a couple of gunpowder. And I got myself cut the saddles as well. So we can might find a horse and be able to travel a little bit faster. And um, without having to go through the nether, because I want to try and remain incognito as much as we can, at least for now. Problem is I can't remain incognito around spawn. So I am gonna head out um to find somewhere to base. And I'm going to be doing that between episodes because I've run out of time for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's a brand new series in a brand new world. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.